Hello and welcome to Jenna and Ashlar's playing Mayor when the lights die. We killed them. I'm sorry. It was an accident, hit and run. They were right there in the way. They were coming right for us. Oh my gosh! Why did you murder them? They you even ran away. They were coming. They had a family. Did they? Did they really, or did you kill their family? Well, they might have been stripper lights, so therefore um, strippers yeah. don't have family. It's, it's not like we could report the body to a father or anything, since um, that's the whole reason they're stripping to begin with. Well, I forgot what everything did. So, subtitles on. on. That's good. Full sensor state missing. Forget about it. Forget but about it. It's gonna be a bit weird with on, on our side, because we only have, like... One year but each. Yeah. <laughs> And we're going to be looking at each other a lot because we're sexy. No, because we get scared. Yeah, <laughs> we're wimps. Yay! Hi. Okay. Um. Skip intro. Pause. Move. Look. Okay. So, uh, I did a video on this before, so you all know the intro. So let's casually <laughs> skip it. Mommy. <laughs> So, nice start off in a bright room. Doors open into a beautiful hallway. Jesus, I'm already scared. The mouse is kind of tripping out, but you can't see that. I'm a horror game virgin. Okay, I'm a virgin for the past, like, eight months. Horror game virgin. Like, I played Amnesia a while ago, and then my laptop was like, Fuck you, bitch. Can I take the knife? Please? Oh, no, Jenna. Aww. Can. That dude is creepy. Like, bitches don't <laughs> smile like that while holding shit up. Like, I wanted to see it. I want to examine it. It looks like there's a bitch. Okay, maybe he's smiling because it's secretly porn. Yes. Yes, that's the, that's the answer to everything. We're porn. We're, we're traveling through the mansion to find the ultimate porn stash. And you know the great lengths men go to to hide their porn. You know, I'm hoping this won't be as scary because I'm here and then you're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last time I was like crying. <laughs> Fuck you. And your mama. And your children. Oh, that's not cool, man. If they grow up to be like you. Okay. But you gotta wait until they're at least 18 because I ain't gonna go with no pedophilia. Yeah, I found another chair. It was right there in the corner. You were fine. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, I thought we just went around in circles. Oh! It's not a friend. Let's go. This is one of those children that we can fuck and I won't feel bad about. <laughs> Although I think that'll be more necrophilia than pedophilia. So by the way, there's also this big scary monster. And by the way, I just want a dead end so he's going to appear behind us again. So you might want to look away. I am. I'm a pussy. Okay, I'm turned around. Also, in the comments below, which is worse, pedophilia or necrophilia? <laughs> I vote necrophilia. Wait, no. Pedophilia. pedophilia. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, at least the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least with necrophilia, they're dead. They don't know what the fuck you're doing to them. They might, their ghosts might even like it. You don't know. You might be providing them with some long-gone sensation that they'd forgotten about in their afterlife. Did you hear those footsteps? I did. Shut up. They were so sexy. Sexy footsteps. We're totally disrupting the horror vibe, aren't you now? Yes. Nobody ever said that we were uh, serious. Oh no 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 no! Okay, that was the first time I was actually able to run away from the monster. Good. Hide in the chair. Hide in the chair. Hide in the chair. Hide in the chair. Oh no, I'm just running. Scared. Forget that. I'm running. Scared. By the way, I might hit a dead end again, because I don't really know this place too well. But there's that option always and forever. 
Ah, shit. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm still scared. I'm not gonna look. I'm probably going back to this place. Oh, we're back at the beginning! Nope! Nope! No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! He's right behind you! Go, 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 you little bitch, come on. Oh god, I heard it. I heard something. Yeah, that's him behind you. With this goddamn wheel and whisper technique. Okay, that's it. I'm dying. I'm dying. There he is. Goodbye. He doesn't like pop up at the ending scene, does he? I don't know. I'm just gonna flip through my fingers here. Wait till I see some credits. <laughs> the one squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> the one squeeze. So we're obviously very manly. Yes, we are the manliest whore. Of gamers there are in the universe for gamers. This is why we don't play Silent Hill. This is why we play Silent Hill all day, every day. I don't play Silent Hill. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I don't play it either. Which, which, I, I want to play it now. I want to play it now. You whore, no. <laughs> I want to play it now. No. I totally want to play it. Go download it. I mean, we don't download things illegally because that's wrong, YouTube. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. So, this is obviously too scary about for us, so how about we switch to some RPG horror? Much more mild scary than super scary with wheels everywhere. Oh, my headphone, because it's totally needed right now. Yep. Um, so, we'll be back. Oh, there we go. Now, directional buttons is in WSAD or the arrows? Eh, I'm thinking it's the arrows. Okay. The following story really happened. I saw it with my own eyes. Joe. Because Joe's an exciting name. Joe Everman. Yep. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it didn't happen as I saw it. But more on that. But more on that. We were all going out camping. Me and my friend from university. Bob, George, and Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce my friend. Right, let's see if I'm right. This is not Bob. This Damn. is Derry. Oh, well, there's a black dude. Of course I didn't get it right. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> We're talking about the guy on the far left. Oh, I was looking at the black chick. Is that chick? Maybe chick. Hair. Oh, it's a dude. Okay, dude. Yep. Dude. This is Darren. I wouldn't say that he is our group of friends leader because he's stupid. And he's a crybaby. Or actually, I would. <laughs> okay. He's the one that gets us all out of the house and into the action. Like he's the pimp. Like he's the one who makes us go out into the porta potty and party like a rock star. Yes, he is the first one to hit on a cute girl by the bar. He's the first one to jump from the roof into a swimming pool. That's not that. No, no, that that no. that's fun. It's actually really fun. You done it before? Yeah. Okay. It was kick-ass. But were fun. you the first person to do it? No. Well, then we knew it was possible. I was the second one. I was only like a second behind when the first guy did it. It wasn't my fault. Did you push him? I did not. He jumped. He, he tried to push me, and I was like, bitch. It's a bitch? No! <laughs> so yeah, Darren was the first one to jump off the roof. Into a swimming pool. But then... He missed and broke both his legs and then went up his butt. And that's why he's on the couch right now. According to himself, he was even more impulsive when he was a kid. Somebody's and he got, got his ADHD. legs stuck up his butt even more. Somebody's got ADHD. Yep. <laughs> I can only imagine his childhood and how often he must have broken his leg and got it stuck up his butt. Scraped his, his knees and hit his head and gotten a major concussion and become the stupidest person on hospital. 
that's why he's the leader, obviously. Yes. The leader, Can't be a leader without head damage. The leader is always the least smartest person. That's why the movies never work out. Yes. Still, if it weren't for Dare, we wouldn't have half the amount of fun we have because we are stupid. We don't know how to have proper fun. We're all boring. So we well. have we have stupid fun. We're just all boring as fuck. We need Darren's help to make us entertaining. Yes. Alright, who's next? The girl. Emma. Celeste. Close enough. This girl is Celeste. We have known each other since we were children. We met each other when she moved into the house next door when I was seven. Oh, if they have dialogue, can I be Darren? Okay. <laughs> My mom told me to go show her around the neighborhood, and I took. And after that, that we were uh, this game is American. You see that you? I see that you. I see that you. That's an awesome you. If you just put two dots above it, it makes a smiley face. And also, isn't there like a German like ooh like Uber? Like oh yeah, that? yeah, that yeah. one too. Just this game's in every that, neighborhood is an Uber amount of fun. Uber! And after that, we were inseparable for a few years. Just a few, that's only until you're 10, bro. Like, are you 10 right now? Like, what the fuck? What happened? Tell us more. Okay. She <laughs> was a nice girl, although her health isn't the best. She, uh, she has some kind of heart problem, which I forgot the name of because I'm a stupid idiot. Obviously, she's the appropriate person to put in a horror game. Yep. This forced her to be away from school during extended periods of time during her childhood. Oh, that's not cool. In which I was her only friend and I had her to myself because I was like that. Bam, she killed me. Oh. <laughs> because of this, until we started university, I was her only friend. We called it. Still, she never complained and I've always seen her as a positive, happy girl. But inside, she's dying. She's dying so hard! <laughs> Ah! Who's the last one? Next is me. I'm Joe. As the name implies, I'm pretty normal. Thanks for introducing yourself, Joe. Appreciate now it. Get the fuck out of here, Joe. No one likes you. You piece of shit. Nobody likes the normal one. Haven't you seen every movie ever? Yeah, you're gonna be first to die. <laughs> I don't have any overwhelmingly bad qualities, but on the other hand, I don't have any overwhelmingly good ones either. So he's just a normal piece of shit. And he's also somewhat indecisive. Yes. Yeah, quite. I live in this apartment, a short walk from my university, because what? I'm lazy as shit. You too good to live on campus, bro? <laughs> this is where us four usually gather before going out. Well, his Thank you. This guy over here, Michael, looking all relaxed on my bed. I got dibs on Michael, Michael too. So you're gonna be voicing Michael and Darren? Hell yeah. He's my neighbor, living in the apartment next door. One day, while I had Celeste over, he just barged in. Oh my God, he's the Kramer to Joe's. Jerry. Why not? <laughs> he is the Kramer of our lives. Yes. Hey, man, your place looks pretty nice. Mind if I join you for dinner? He said. As you can imagine, he's pretty pushy. I don't think he realizes it himself. That's how I roll, bitch. Yep. He came over several times after that day. After that, we somehow naturally became friends. Because that's how I work. I make friends with people who barge into my house and possibly... I don't know, has some secret alternative, like it's a spy and for... eat your food. Like, I work hard for my goddamn money, and I buy my own food, and I work hard for that, and he just comes over like a freeloading son of a bitch. <laughs> just eating all my food. I prefer the thing that he's a spy, because that's cool. So Whoa, they, look at the trees. One of them fell down in the forest, and haven't shut up about it, because nobody was around to hear and help. Oh, God. What if he still needs help? That's why they're upset. They want to help. And they can't like, help because they rooted the ground. Damn it, Bill. Just, just, just shut up. I know. He just shut, shut up, up, Bill. 
Nobody <laughs> cares about you! If we can't help, Bill, so just shut up about it already. Shut up before we go and fall on you and rub up against you and start a forest fire. Shut up, Bill. God damn it, Bill! Alright, so Darren came up with the idea about camping. Clicky. Darren said his family had a cabin a little bit into the forest. It's right there. It's gonna be right in the middle of those trees. Chilling out, and then, 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 and then those five trees are going to form a pentagram and we're going to be sucked into another world. And, and you're going to summon Satan? Yep. Yep. Satan house. So camping we went. It could be fun, right? Nope. <laughs> of course, me, Michael, and Celeste dislike the idea of staying in the cabin. Because you're pusses. It's a camping trip. We should have to sleep in the wilderness. So Darren told us about the woods in the near, near the cabin. So this is Joe's fault. No, it's Darren's fault. No, Darren's just obliging to what the group wanted. He is the victim. <laughs> Next to Bill, the stupid fucking tree guy. Shut up. Well, it's a combination of Joe, Darren, and Celeste, because they all agreed on it. And then Darren was like, hey, there's woods back here. Well, Michael was one of the ones like, oh, I don't want to sleep in a cabin. And, my, and then Darren's Michael just like, really fine, honest. bitch, there's forest out there. Suck a dick. Um... Okay, so like I'm having a little trouble with my bandy cam because like it didn't process this correctly. So I'm mm. also recording my explanation. Gotcha. It's a camping trip. Oh wait, now I don't remember much about the trip to the cabin. We joked around, took a few breaks, normal stuff, got lost, went to the wrong cabin. I still stumbled in on a girl who was changing. Her Fuck boyfriend came girl. out with a shotgun. But I got to look at said girl and jacked off a little bit. However, my memory for a long time. Spank get... bank material. Yep. Yes, guys, girls know about spank bank material. Either way, we drove up to the cabin and left the car there, because why not? We took a short break in the cabin and set out into the wilderness, where the trees are making creepy faces and two out of five of them will yell at you. We went pretty far in, but I can't say how far in the distance exactly, but it took several hours to get where we set up camp. The first thing... No, wait, what? The first day, we just screwed around, nothing abnormal happened. But the yeah. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Where's Michael? There he is. Yeah, right down. Right, I didn't see him, he wasn't with everybody else. Oh. Hey! Hey, Michael! Hey! What? What? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> More than that, or should I say, good afternoon. Fix us some wood for fire, will ya? I set out to gather wood for a new fire and water to cook with. Michael's gonna get to do this at some point. He's just not gonna have a set boy. So it's like Michael. That tree's suspicious. Down. You see that tree? That tree's suspicious too, and that one, the bushes are so suspicious. There's Bill. Oh my gosh, Bill! This ain't suspicious at all. Seems legit. What was that sound? What is that sound? What is that sound? It doesn't sound like something you hear in a forest. I hear birds. Probably talking about that whoop whoop mm -hmm. sound. That's that not. sounds like a TARDIS. Be tardis. <gasps> the doctor!
There we go, a bucket of water. Jack and Jill when Bill went up the hill to the to the The sound stopped, which but just got scared. Is Darren asleep? Yeah, he's totally asleep. Fucking Darren. What the fuck are you doing? God damn it, Darren. Oh, I think he's listening to music. And I'll know those are Z's, never mind. Yeah. God damn it, Darren, you had one job. Okay, I got water in the cooking pot and some of their light on fire! Somebody call 911. You need to light it. Darren, yo, man! Oh, right, Michael, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> My head hurts. You little bitch! Celeste! Hey! Yeah, alright! Alright, let's cook something up, shall we? Yes, please do. Please walk over the sleeping Darren. Later that evening, everyone died. The end. Except Joe, she's reliving the story. Oh, oh no, Joe died. Oh, Darren, too. look, he decided to wake the fuck up. Yeah, Glad he could Darren. Join. Glad he could join us. God damn it, Darren. One job. Oh, oh, okay. Sweet. You really chill us out for being in the middle of summer. Cause you're in the forest. What the, the hell is up with this fog, bro? Every time I've been here before, there ain't haven't been any fog, bro. <laughs> it's time to go to sleep soon. We're all out of booze. Guess we gotta go back into town tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that four-hour check. Maybe we shouldn't have gone so deep in. Ha ha. Oh, oh I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Yeah, now that you mention it, what is it, bro? Sounds like something metally. <laughs> metally? Not even a word? You stupid? Shut up, asshole. It's a word if I say so. It stopped! Maybe it was some kind of machine? Like a TARDIS? Who the hell would go out hours from the nearest civilization in the middle of the night? And start revving up some kind of weird ass motherfucking machine? Oh, bitch! <laughs> Who gives a shit, bro? It's probably someone using a chainsaw or something. Cause chainsaw Masker. Because chainsaws totally sound like that fucking Darren moron. Let's go to sleep, bro. I'm tired. I told you the least intelligent person is the leader. Wait, how are you tired? You spent all day fucking napping. I know. Ah, oh, goddamn, Darren. Hey, Celeste. Hey, Celeste. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's hey, iPod or whatever. Okay. Oh. I'm sure. Oh, wait. I'm sure it, 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 that it was no chainsaw. I wonder what it was. My spidey senses are tickling. What? <laughs> My spidey senses are tickling. Let's stop doing that. You should. Sleepiness soon overtook everyone. Because why not? Hello. But something woke you up a few hours later in your half wake state. You stumbled outside the tent. And died! I love how I'm all calm and everything. <laughs> oh, please, I'm perfect. Darren! Michael! Celeste! Is that you, even though you're in the tent and I just saw you? <laughs> the mist is thicker than before. I can't see much. We need flashlights. I should check out that sound. Yeah, I bet you need a flashlight. You know, like a button. That's not scary at all. No, that means it's scary. I'm not having trouble seeing at all. Oh! I feel like we're Hey there, oh, sexy. Shit. Michael? Is that you? Oh, no, that's racist. Say something, will you? Who are you? Run, please! When did we get the map? I think he's talking about his penis. <laughs> Whoa, stop right there! I have a knife! It's in my pants! I am trying to run! It won't let me run! Shit! Oops. Mother trucker. Shut up! It's on X! 
Somebody's okay. using axe. Okay. I'm sorry. Wake up, bitches! There's something outside the tent! Yeah. What? Ugh, I'm sure there is. Lots of squirrels and shit. Go back to sleep. <laughs> hey! Is Michael here? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. The thing outside looked like you. No, that's racist. It was probably some animal, bro. I don't think we gotta worry about a fox or whatever. So, Joe thinks Michael is foxy. <laughs> Who's a lady? Take it easy and go back to sleep. Well, alright then. Seems legit. Maybe it was just some animal, even though it looked just like a human and had kind of shoulder length hair, like right above shoulder length. Not to mention the standing upright. And had like glowing eyes. And it had, you know, arms and not four sets, two sets of legs. Probably was just a bear. Obviously. <laughs> But those sounds! Dun dun dun! <laughs> We're making so much progress. I know. A few minutes later. Oh, bitch is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> that is so creepy! Okay. okay, drop it. Whoever that is, I wanna go to sleep already. Wasn't me. Me neither. That didn't sound like any of our voices. Well, shit. Now I ain't gonna be able to sleep. Should, should we go outside and look? No! NEVER! Right, yes, Celeste. You can look outside and look. Sacrifice her. Sacrifice. 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 What if it's some crazy psycho with an axe? I like the way Michael thinks. Yep. I would go more for a, uh... Chainsaw. Ski mask. Chainsaw flamethrower. Oh, man. that you, you nailed it right there. Thank you. All the more reason to check it out. It's not like the tent's some kind of impenetrable fortress. Like my dick. Seriously. If that was one of you guys, tell me right now. This ain't funny no more. I speak how I like. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone get out together and check it out. I ain't going alone. Go check it out, bitch! I ain't going out there. I've already been out there once before. What the heck is that? It looks like a monkey. Someone was definitely here. She. She, she, she. Calm down, Celeste. We are four against one here. Bro. It'll be fine. What if the dude got some kind of weapon with him? I mean, he killed this little critter, didn't he? What kind of threat? We can't get the hell out of here. We can't just up and leave. You know we're not just gonna shoot. Screw off, shoot! I'm not staying here another minute! I'm gonna go outside and get killed! Fine, we'll leave, but at least bring the flashlight and some food and water. Hey, maybe you just want one. I think you're overreacting, though. We haven't even seen anyone. Not yet! <laughs> Still, someone or something left this dead creature here. Can't exactly go back to sleep with no worries. Yes, you're right. I'll go get the flashlight. I just realized that they slept with the tent door open the entire time. So they could have come in and been raped. And they have a fire there. So they can just be huddled up in the tent and just watch. And it was literally what they could have done. <sighs> Everyone thinks this stuff you need to remind me. Okay. So that's just gonna bring my goddamn hair dryer and some shit. Yep. Alright, let's go. I wanna examine that critter. Oh man, that super fast running speed. Sorry, I went too fast. You did. 
It's so dark. At least it's still summer, so it's not big bad. This fog is really annoying, though. So we're going back to the cabin, right? I guess that's the plan. Ha <laughs> ha! We're fucked. Are we going to try fording through that? Or we're just going. That was a game plan. Whoa, 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 Oh, whoa. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're being followed! Now, I'm gonna have my... You get your hands mm -hmm. ready? Then we get my, my uh, ticket. A while ready. later, it became obvious Darren had no idea where we were going. <laughs> Let's go left. Let's go right. Let's go around the street for a while. He was swearing and looking all around. Ah, that tree's suspicious. It is. We've been walking for awfully long now. Are you sure we're on the right path, Darren? Shut the fuck up! Man, I walked this path hundreds of times. We are on the right path. As bitch. far as you know! <laughs> I don't recognize anything from when we walk into the camp, though. I said we're on the right path! <laughs> My word is law! But as time went on, it became obvious that Darren had no idea where we were. God damn it. Darren could not find the path. God damn it, Darren. One job. One job, Darren. Literally just, just one, the one job. Maybe it was the fog. Maybe the darkness. Maybe something else. So, mm, Darren's asshole got in the way? Yes. Okay. Either way, we were fucking lost. I kept looking behind me. Because, you know, why not? I was having that feeling where you think someone's watching or stalking you. I nearly tripped over Celeste when she fell. Oh god, the bitch always falls in the horror movie. That's how this starts. That's how this whole thing starts. See you later, Celeste! You're gonna get murdered! Help Celeste up? Hmm. Why not? We might get some jana. You took Celeste's hand and dragged her to her feet. Oh my god, what if it's not Celeste? Ho oh, ho ho! It was getting even mistier. If not for the flashlight, you, would ha you wouldn't have any idea who she was. I've recognized that tree! It's the one with the face on it! We're getting to the cabin! We were just there. Again, I had the feeling that someone, something, was watching me. My gut was screaming at me, something, somewhere, was wrong. I realized the sound from earlier was back, softer, but still present. I started looking around, panicking. Did a head count, or more accurately, silhouette count. Me, Celeste still holding my hand, Darren in the lead, and Michael to the left. Who the heck was the guy behind was hides Michael? My grip on Celeste's hand tightened and I quickened my pace. I thought about shouting out, but was worried. If I did, maybe the thing would turn and jump Michael or something. I didn't know what to do. I ran my fingers along, around, along the knife I brought from camp. Because it's now your sex toy. Then the cabin appeared out of nowhere. The mist was starting to disintegrate around us. It was easier to make out who everyone was now. I looked at the thing next to Michael. She looked just like Celeste. The thing whose hand I was holding leaned in right in front of me. It wasn't Celeste. God damn it, you called me. I think we died. I should have ran or screamed, but my body was punching up for no reason. The thing turned and walked into the mist. I caught up with the others as they entered the cabin, practically in tears. They couldn't find the car and were arguing about where we put it. I told them what I saw. Obviously, they didn't believe me. Sure, this guy taking dicks. Still, everyone hurried inside and locked the door.
Excuse me, sir! What the hell do you want with us? the other door oh god I wanna know where that leads right there and over here ah! shit the bastard hit the breaker but he can't get in right ah! <laughs> Celeste he, he he is just 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 trying to stare, scare us take it easy yep yep yep, yep. <laughs> Celeste, come here and give me your sweet china! She seems to be hyperventing. It's alright, Celeste. The door is locked. And it's the only way. You're safe here. No response. Nothing useful. That looks like a hedgehog. Oh, adorable. so creepy from the side. Double checking? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to believe what you say you saw in here. It, it's fine. He's just trying to scare us. It's your best bet to be to explore this and so on. Bench made out of tree, a big tree trunk. Table.
Hey Celeste! Oh damn it. Hey Celeste, how's it going? I'll go look around with you. Suddenly a voice could be heard from the lock the door. What was worse though? I immediately pulled my knife and placed it uh, placed it back to Celeste lying in the bed. Her eyes grew wide with shock and alarm, but they couldn't be fake. What are you doing? I'm the real one. The one out there. That's the imposter. I was kind of in a trance, unsure of what to do and staring down at her. Maybe I should have stabbed her if it wasn't Dora had to change it to some low federal detail. Then it became high pitched like a little girl's. I pulled my knife away. I snapped out of the trance. Now the nausea was returning. I got to the door and opened it. But there was nothing there but a trail of black liquid. Dora, oh, why would you open the door? Shut it! Don't go outside. There. Now you're being smart. Okay, little Miss Celeste. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Suddenly I got the sinking feeling in my stomach like something was seriously out of place. I couldn't place the reason, but I would soon find out. We're about to find out. We made the worst decision of our lives. Probably. We made the worst decision of our lives. Yeah, we did. Celeste was dead, lying in a pool of blood on the floor. It looked like she'd been shot. Panic started flowing through every vein in my body. Can't find a gun. Michael was lying on the floor, shot to death. How I know he was shot to death? Just a feeling. God damn it, Darren! Oh. <laughs> Recently shot to death, Darren was lying on the floor. I could see the wounds from the shotgun. Suddenly I realized. Taking me for granted, those bastards. Just because I'm nothing special, this should teach them not to mess with me. We should go outside. We should go outside. Oh well, I'm not playing that again. No. So Joe's crazy as fuck. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Huh. Um, yeah. So the game shut down after that. So, uh, now you're just kind of looking at my screen. I can't see my mouse, so that's a bit troublesome. Uh, so thanks for watching! <laughs> Like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe if you liked it, blah blah blah, subscribe to see more, blah 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 blah. My channel will be in the description of this video. Bullshit! No! <laughs> if it it's be. not, Ash Lars for the win, Ash Lars FTW, that's A S H L A H R S. <laughs> <laughs> I will slap you more! <laughs> FTW. I'll see you guys in the next video. I Bye. won't. Shut up, you little bitch.